Hello Captain. I am Munshi Abdulhai, ATR Ground Instructor. Welcome to my online web series of ATR 72600 Ground Class on Electrical Systems Part 2. In my last class, we discussed, Introduction Part of Electrical Systems, where different types of electrical supply and sources are discussed. If you missed my last class, please check my YouTube channel for previous uploaded video of ATR 72600 Electrical Systems Part 1, or follow the given link here. In this part, I am going to discuss about DC power. DC power of ATR 72600 is available from three sources. 1. Two aircraft batteries. 2. Two engine driven starter generator. 3. Transformer rectifier unit or TRU. Now I shall discuss about aircraft batteries. 1. Main battery. A 24 volts nickel cadmium battery of 43 ampere hour is provided for engine starting, and, for emergency power supply, including propeller feathering. 2. Emergency battery. A 24 volts nickel cadmium battery of 17 ampere hour, used to avoid power transients on critical equipment during engine starts. And, ensures power to the emergency network when the main battery is completely discharged and, under voltage, override push button is pressed. Next is about starter generators. The two DC starter generators are driven by the engine accessory gearboxes. Each generator is rated to deliver nominal output power, 12 kilowatts, 400 ampere, and nominal operating voltage, 27 volts to 31 volts but nominal setting is 30 volts. Starter generator works in two modes. 1. Starter mode. In starter mode, the starter generator is connected to aircraft main battery or external power or aircraft main battery and operating generator for cross start on ground. During the start sequence, the starter generator rotates the rotor up to self sustaining speed up to 45% NH. The start sequence automatically ends when NH reaches 45% and associated engine start on light turns off. Note. Due to system components tolerance, the start sequence may end with displayed NH between 42% to 48%. 2. Generator mode. When the engine reaches 61.5% NH, the starter generator starts generating usable DC output as a generator. Provided associated DC generator push button is selected on, and, external power is deselected. Each generator feeds associated DC bus through a generator contactor. A TRU is installed in order to maintain DC supply, when DC power is under emergency conditions, or, both generators failed. In this configuration, emergency DC system can be supplied by the TRU. TRU mainly converts ACW to DC. Now, I shall discuss how this generated DC power is distributed throughout the aircraft. There are 11 DC buses through which DC power is distributed. These are DC bus, 1, DC bus, 2, hot main bat bus, hot emergency bat bus, emergency bus, essential bus, DC service bus, utility bus, 1, utility bus, 2, DC standby bus, and DC ground handling bus. Here, you can see, how these buses are, interconnected. DC bus 1, and DC bus 2, are called main buses, because these two buses are directly connected with the respective generator source, and through these two buses, other buses are fed. DC bus 1 is normally powered by DC generator 1, and, DC bus 1 normally supplies, hot emergency bat bus, DC emergency bus, DC standby bus utility bus 1, inverter 1, and DC service bus. DC bus 2 is normally powered by DC generator 2, and, DC bus 2 normally supplies, hot main bat bus, DC essential bus, utility bus 2, and inverter 2. Normally most of the captain side DC operated components are supplied by DC bus 1 and first officer side by DC bus 2. Now, let us see how this DC power is controlled and protected, as you now uncontrolled and non-protected system leads to unreliability, 
that is true in this case as well. DC power control and protection is provided by three computerized equipments. These are 1. Generator Control Unit or GCU 2. Bus Power Control Unit or BPCU 3. Multifunction Computer or MFC Generator Control Unit, GCU, is associated with each generator, and provides the control for the generator contactor and the start contactor, for starter generator mode control. Also the GCU monitors the point of regulation where the voltage is maintained constant, as the load varies. Also, it provides fault detection, and protection for over or under voltage, fault current, generator overload, fault current limiting, bust high lockout, and reverse current. Any fault in electrical circuit is detected by GCU, alerts are generated, at the same time it also ensure protection of that circuit by disconnecting electrical supply to the faulty circuit. Now I will discuss Bus Power Control Unit, BPCU. 1. It provides the control for BTC. The Bus Tie Contactor, BTC, enables DC Bus 1 and 2 to be online when only one generator is operating, or when the aircraft is powered from external power, and that is controlled by BTC, automatically. 2. Battery Start Contactor, BSC, control, during start sequence when battery will be disconnected, around 45% NH, will be decided by BPCU logic. 3. Load Shedding Control, to avoid load shedding, of operative equipment, which circuit is to be disconnected will be decided, by BPCU logic. 4. External Power Functions Control. External Power Quality, GPU or Battery Cart Voltage, is allowable or not is decided by BPCU logic, if not, a veil light will not glow. 5. DC Service Bus Contactors Control When DC Service Bus will be online or it will be shaded, will be decided by BPCU logic. Batteries monitoring and protection is performed by MFC logic, which, connects, the battery to the associated DC bus, for charging, also, analyze, the charging current and or associated DC bus voltage, so as to prevent an abnormal battery operating condition, or thermal runaway. Note. Thermal runaway leads to total battery discharge and will not be recharged again. That's all for this class, dear captain, in my next class, we will start with a normal operation of DC power system when 1. Aircraft on ground and on battery, 2. Aircraft on ground and on GPU, 3. Aircraft on ground and on hotel mode, DC generator 1 fault. 4. Aircraft with both generators operating. Thank you Captain, this part was the description of DC power system. If you like my class, share and subscribe my channel, and don't forget to press the bell icon for getting notification for my next class, on normal and emergency operation of electrical system. See you again.